Good evening. I'm Daniel Vandenberg, ZL2DRV in New Plymouth. And I'm Debbie Morgan, ZL2DL in Upper Hutt. And I'm Stephen McNeil, ZL4HG from Christchurch. And I'm Jim Meacham, ZL2BHF in Nelson. And together we bring you the NZART official broadcast for August 2023. Good evening everyone and welcome to tonight's broadcast. Leading the lineup tonight, presidential comment. Here's our NZART president, Daniel Vandenberg, ZL2DRV. Daniel? Kia ora and Palmario. Spring is in the air and I, for one, am looking forward to longer days of sunlight. The draft constitution is up on the NZART website. You will have until September 30th to get any feedback to council via your councillor or myself. All clubs will need to review your own constitutions as well to re- register for incorporated societies under the new Act. Council will be looking at options to help clubs get this sorted and guide clubs through this process. I should have more on this in my next break-in column. I would like to welcome the Westport Amateur Radio Club, NZART's newest branch. Council accepted their request to become an associated with NZART at our last council meeting. Work has started on the latest edition call book. Remember, you have until October 10th to get all the silent keys and updated branch info to me and updated beacon and repeater map info to us by email. Callbook at nzart.org.nz I am aware that there are still some website issues. I am hoping to have this sorted soon. Finally, a warm welcome back to Debbie. HQ will be open as usual from September. Please be patient as she gets her feet back on the ground and moves through the list of stuff that needs to be done. Due to her heavy workload, please contact Debbie to make an appointment if you need to come into HQ. Please do not just show up. That's it from me. Back to you, Jim. Thank you, Daniel. NZART President Daniel Vandenberg, ZL2DRV. From Christchurch Branch 05, we have news tonight of EastFest 2023. EastFest is being held on Saturday the 9th of September from 9am through 5.30pm and on Sunday the 10th of September from 9am to 12.30pm at the Christchurch Amateur Radio Club Rooms, 5 Idris Road in Fendleton. Now, cost for the weekend, $10, and that includes a raffle. EastFest is only for paid and registered attendees. Morning and afternoon refreshments will be provided, but no lunches or evening meals. The Saturday evening meal will be at the Garden Restaurant, 110 Marshlands Road, Shirley, at 6.30pm. On Saturday the 9th, the venue doors open at 9am for registration and perusal of auction items. Saturday's East Fest program itself commences at 10am, running through to 5.30pm with six speakers and workshops. Remember, Saturday's dinner is 6.30pm at the Garden Restaurant. On Sunday the 10th, the venue doors open at 9am for perusal of auction items. The East Fest program commences at 10am with speakers and concludes at the end of the auction. The Sunday auction is open to all. Now topics for East Fest include the Sugar Cube VFO project, practical VHF antenna aspects, VNAs, Branch 05 Radio Tech reboot, practical SDR transceivers, NZART awards, and possibly also compact HF antennas for small spaces. Something for all. Look for the details on the Christchurch Amateur Radio Club webpage, and you can find that at www.chchamradio.org.nz forward slash eastfest. So that's EastFest 2023 in Christchurch over the weekend of September the 9th and the 10th. To Upper Hutt we go now, and it's welcome back to our NZART business manager, Debbie Morgan, ZL2DL. Tēnā koutou, kātou, Jim, and good evening, everyone. Yes, I finally returned to the office on the 14th of August. I'm only working a maximum of 15 hours per week until the 4th of September, as I still have to re-navigate the 22 stairs up to the office. 
my knee replacement surgery has been a great success. Just working on the back problems I also received on my fall last year. All good things take time, I guess. I really appreciated all the lovely words and emails of encouragement during my recuperation. Hopefully by mid-spring this will all be behind me. I plan to send out your subscription reminders by mid-September. I do apologise for the delay. You have probably all realised by now these were not included with your August break-in. As we now have a cloud-based database and accounting software, all those members who have advised an email address will receive the renewal invoice electronically. Those who do not have an email will receive a hard copy in the post. The discount period remains the same for transmitting and family memberships if payment is received by the 30th of November this year. However, as yet, we do not have a PayPal portal if you wish to pay by credit card. So you may have to either email me with your details or send me a hard copy of your remittance advice and write your credit card number, expiry date and CVV on the form. I will advise more details about this in an HQ info line nearer the time. My thanks to Annalise for looking after info line while I was away. I know her newsletters look much more appealing than mine, but I confess I was brought up in a more functional environment where pictures weren't really considered. Thanks also to Warren, ZL2AJ, for undertaking many call sign allocations while I was away. A new PIB 46 document was released by Radio Spectrum this month. This document details call sign allocations, do's and don'ts. If you are interested in receiving an electronic copy, please contact me or visit RSM's website. Well, that's all from me this month, Jim. Ko rero a tira marama na mihi nui. Speak to you next month. Take care. Thank you, Debbie. Debbie Morgan, ZL2DL, the NZART. Business Manager. Information now from Jeff ZL3 GA reporting for the NZART Conference 2024 Committee. Planning for the 2024 NZART Conference at the Air Force Museum of New Zealand in Christchurch is underway. To be held over King's Birthday weekend, the committee is working hard to make sure that both the amateur and alternate programs are truly memorable. The website at hamradio.co.nz is up and regular updates via all NZRT channels will be posted. We look forward to seeing you in Christchurch. Start planning your trip now. And that information from Jeff, ZL3GA. New Plymouth Branch 27 and South Taranaki Branch 87 are holding a junk sale on Saturday the 23rd of September. Barbecue and refreshments will be available. The venue is Mungaree Memorial Hall at the corner of Kent Road and State Highway 3 to the south of New Plymouth. Sellers can set up from 8am with absolutely no sales before 10am. Also a note of the Taranaki Award. It runs from Wednesday the 27th of September to Sunday the 1st of October. Earn the award by getting 25 or more points through contacting amateurs within Taranaki, including the compulsory station ZL6RFA. It's worth 5 points. Contacts can be made on any band, but a net will be held at 8pm each night on 3660 kHz. Further information on both of these events is available online at zl2ab.com. Or you can email Doug ZL3DUG at secretary at ZL2AB.com to book your table at the junk sale for $20. Now for an update on international amateur radio news. We join the team at the Amateur Radio News Line. Our top story takes us to Hawaii and focuses on the resilience and the relevance of AM broadcast radio which was recently earmarked by some automakers in the U.S. for elimination from cars. AM radio's relevance is certainly not in doubt on Maui, where AM broadcast equipment is being put to work for wildfire emergency communications. Kent Peterson, KC0DGY, brings us up to date. The Federal Communications Commission has granted the state of Hawaii the right to use four portable emergency advisory radio systems. 
The stations, which include police and fire stations and a checkpoint, can be used on 1620, 1650, 1670, or 1700 kilohertz. The state purchased the four 10-watt transmitters from Information Station Specialists, a Michigan manufacturer that provides transmitters for highway advisory and traveler's information. The systems include a transmitter, a digital message player, an audio mixer, and a fold-out high-efficiency antenna system. Timely communications has been an issue during the wildfire crisis on Maui. Published reports noted that the island's emergency officials failed to warn residents and tourists of the dangers by failing to use a system of outdoor sirens. There were also reports the agency alerts were never delivered to cell phone users. One of the key arguments made by defenders for keeping AM broadcast in cars has been AM's reliability in delivering emergency information in a crisis. This is Kent Peterson, KC0, DGY. Congratulations to India, which is celebrating a successful soft landing of a rover on the moon's surface. Graham Kemp, VK4BB, has that story. Amateur radio operators joined the Indian Space Research Organization and the rest of the nation in marking the arrival of the Chandaran 3 spacecraft near the moon's south pole on the 23rd of August. India's delivery of a rover to the lunar surface follows its 2019 attempt, which crashed. Shortly after this successful landing, four radio amateurs in India proudly got on the air calling QRZ with the call sign AT2ISRO. They were being heard on HF, VHF and UHF as well as on Echolink through the 25th of August. According to Aruna Vaday, VU3XRY, who was one of the activators, this use of the ISRO call sign, like the moon landing itself, was a first for India. This is Graham Kemp, VK4BB. Meanwhile, if you have access to Echolink, continue to celebrate the moon landing's success with the West Bengal Radio Club, SAARC Echo VHF Net, until the 30th of August. Be listening for the special call sign VU2WB3CY at 1530 UTC each day on Echolink node VU2WBR-R. For now... With Karen Eve Murray, KD2GUT at the news desk in New York, and our news team worldwide, I'm Paul Brown, WD9GCO in Valparaiso, Indiana, saying 73. As always, we thank you for listening. Amateur Radio Newsline is copyright 2023. All rights reserved. And as always, we say thank you to Newsline for the use of their copyright material. The Manawatu Amateur Radio Society are holding their Longburn Table Sale on Saturday the 30th of September at the Longburn Community Centre, 17 Nairi Street, Longburn. That's off State Highway 56. The doors open for sellers at 8.30am and to the public at 10am. The usual kitchen, food, barbecue along with hot and cold drinks will be available. Now the cost for a table of your own to sell your surplus goods are a full table $25 and a half table $15. Please have these booked and paid for by Friday the 22nd of September. For further details and to book a table, email tablesale at zl2ko.org.nz. Note this is a cash-only event. Please bring small change if possible. See the details on the ZL2KO website www.zl2ko.org.nz The Manawatu Amateur Radio Society's Longburn Table Sale on Saturday the 30th of September. And so it's down to Christchurch now to update on activities of NZRT branches with Stephen, ZL4HG. Thanks Jim and good evening everyone. Here's a roundup of news from around your local clubs. And we'll start from North Shore Branch 29 NZART, who have their next meeting on Monday the 4th of September at the club rooms at 400 East Coast Road in Sunny Nook on the North Shore. Tristan Croco Z01TC will give a talk on the Discord server. Over to the east now to Napier NZART Branch 25. The next meeting will see a talk explaining the technicalities of the Starlink internet system, which will soon augment some mobile text systems. The meeting will start at 7.30pm on Tuesday the 5th of September at the club rooms at 123 Latham Street in Napier. 
Down south now, and Marlborough NZART Branch 22 has its Constructors Award Night on Thursday the 14th of September, starting 7.30pm at the Emergency Operations Centre. And finally to Otago Branch 30, where meetings are usually held at the club rooms in McAndrew Road in South Dunedin. On the 6th of September, Tim Maltino, ZL4TCM, will give a refresher on using KiCAD software to make simple printed circuit boards. On the 20th, Adam, ZL4ASC, will give a talk on DMR programming, including how to get started. And don't forget that on Wednesday the 27th of September, there will be a meal at the Spitfire restaurant, which is part of the Mosgiel RSA, from 6.30pm. Check your local club rooms for a list, or contact the secretary for more information. Well, Jim, that's all from me. Back to you. Thank you, Stephen. Stephen McNeil, ZL4HG, reporting from Christchurch. The next official broadcast of NZART will be made by ZL6A at 8pm on Sunday the 24th of September. This is ZL6A, headquarters station of the New Zealand Association of Radio Transmitters, concluding the official broadcast for August 2023. Good night everyone. Good night now.